Good morning, you guys. Um, today is day like, oh my God, maybe like seven. I feel like I've been in the house for about a week um, of this quarantine situation and I'm bored. And I have no plans today other than to probably clean the house. Um, yeah, and then sit around. Um, I did want to talk to you guys just about how this previous week has gone for me, so. That's what we're going to do today. I'm just going to kind of get ready because I haven't really been getting ready. So we are going to do that. And yeah, I hope you guys are freaking having fun. We're all like, because it is real. It is real out there. But okay, let's just, let's just get ready. going on peppy come on all right so now that that is over with we are going to peppy do you need to go out again this house is so dark and it's kind of messy so excuse the house what what are you so excited for do you want to go outside okay well we are going to put her out open up these blinds go ahead mama go on uh-oh Y'all, her pad is stuck to her legs. Okay, go. <laughs> go play. Sorry. <laughs> go on. <laughs> All right. So we are just going to open up in here and go play, Pep. This is my good girl. Oh, my goodness. She's so cute. I can't even. Um, I have to make breakfast. So we're going to make breakfast, eat, 
and then we're gonna sit down and chat because I definitely wanna catch up with you guys because this week has been crazy. Let's see if I can get, excuse the background here. As you can see, I'm like doing laundry and I kind of got my like, let me show you, got my little home work from home station going on over there. Don't know where that towel came from, but yeah, like I gotta put all this laundry away here shortly and like clean up what's going on in this kitchen. I've been like spraying down literally everything. Like this stuff is freaking gold. Like, I don't know if you can find it at Walmart because I can't find any more disinfectant spray anywhere, but I have been spraying like the doorknobs and my freaking car, like everything, everything. Everything is getting disinfected around here. Like I am not playing no games. Like I don't even want to go outside. I wish I didn't have to. And we'll talk about that later too, but oh, I am so ready to be done. I'm just trying to get all these damn windows open because it is so dark in my house, especially in the mornings. All right, Pepper's back. So we're going to go get, oops, we're going to go get Miss Pepper and then we are going to make breakfast. Okay, like legit, I'm about to grow up because I'm so hungry and I got sick last night and we can talk about that again too. But I am very hungry, so I'm gonna eat breakfast so that I can take my medicine. Um, I usually don't eat this much food in the mornings, but again, I have medicine to take and I'm super duper hungry. So I'm gonna check out my plate over here. I'm just gonna sit, have my eggs, my cutie, some avocado toast and sausage and just peep out my window. Oh, you guys can't see it so bright, but we've got the fields and the cows and all that jazz. So I'm just gonna sit here and eat and then we shall discuss. Bye. Okay, so it is hours later. I did get a little distracted talking to my cousin. So I, um, I'm i done now. So I'm just going to kind of sit back and talk to you guys and give you an update on what has been going on over here. I know that you can tell by the title that I have been sick. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna give you guys an update on everything that's gone on this week because yeah, as you know, like now is not the time to be any kind of sick, like not to have no sniffles, no sneezes, no coughs, like people are not having it. So um, yeah, so let's just get started and just dive right in. Um, I went to San Diego. Um, I don't think I did any kind of travel vlogging at all. Well, mostly because I got sick, but uh, my husband and I went on vacation at the end of February. So we left February 20th and by the 23rd, I was like KO. I remember waking up that morning and just feeling like not myself. I wasn't like super sick right off the bat early in the morning. Um, just, I wasn't feeling great, right? So. We went to church, we hung out with church family, went to, uh, went to breakfast after. Uh, and then after that, I was just like, you know what, let me get some Dayquil because we had a wedding that evening. So we went to the store, I got some Dayquil and cough drops and just kind of just stuff that would get me through the rest of the day because I wasn't feeling great. Um, but by that night on the 23rd, like I was at the wedding and my body was just like shutting down. Like it was just too much, I couldn't handle it. So finally I was like, I need to go. Like, babe, you need to take me back to the hotel. Like, I need to sleep. I need like fluids. Like I was, I felt like I was dying. So this was, like I said, this was February 23rd and I had like a fever, like for like three days. I was sick for three days, um, like just out. The last, the end of our vacation kind of sucked because I spent majority of the time just in bed. Um, so that sucked. Uh, we came back home. I was supposed to work the following day. I think we got back on a Wednesday. 
and I was supposed to work that Thursday and I couldn't do it. I couldn't get out of bed. I was still just so sick. I don't think I had a fever at that point. I just didn't feel well. I was so tired. Um, so I stayed home another day. Uh, the Friday after that, the next day after that, I did go into work, but I lasted like a couple hours. I think I stayed till lunch and then came back home and spent the entire weekend just asleep. Like I couldn't handle it. Um, so then that brings us to now we're into March and I went to work. I was like feeling a little better. Um, Pepper, I was feeling a little better. I was working. <sighs> Um, you hear my dog, she's in the window acting a fool. This, we're going crazy over here. We'll get to that. Um, I was feeling better. I went to work. I still had a cough. Um, I could not get rid of my cough. And like, sometimes I was achy, but like I didn't have a fever. So I went to work all week. Um, by the end of the week, I was starting to experience the shortness of breath. And again, that's another thing. Nobody wants to hear you say like, what? You can't breathe, girl whole other story so um yeah I that wasn't even the first week the first week I was feel like I was fine like I'm getting ahead of myself because I've been sick for a month guys so that next week I went to work the whole week just had a cough lived through it the following week after that still couldn't get rid of my cough and then like started to experience like more of the tightness in my chest and shortness of breath and stuff I just wasn't getting better so this is now two weeks after, <clears throat> excuse me, this is now two weeks after getting back from vacation. So finally, now, what does the president call it? The, the hidden enemy? Now the hidden enemy is like a thing, you know? So I'm like, ah, oh, damn, like maybe I should get checked. So get towards the end of the week, um, I, again, I'm feeling the shortness of breath or whatever. I call my doctor and I'm like, hey, can I make an appointment for Saturday? Because, you know, these are my symptoms. This is the progression of my symptoms. Other than my shortness of breath and my cough, like I had been feeling okay. Um, and no one really wanted to see me, guys. So I and, and leave in the comments if you've had anything like this um, going on recently, just because of the times that we are in, like not being able to figure out where to go, what to do. Um, let me know what your experiences are because it was they were giving me the runaround. So I made my appointment and then I called ahead of time and said, hey, these are my symptoms. When I get there, I'm not trying to be isolated and sent to no ER. Like, are you guys going to see me? And the nurse was just like, you should call the nurse's hotline and do your pre-screen or whatever. I call them, of course, because flu symptoms, all these different symptoms are all they're all the same. They all everything overlaps. The nurse is like, you need to call the ER ahead of time and go to ER. Like, because you are, you know, have tightness in your chest, shortness of breath, call the ER first and then go there um, and see if you can get treated there and get tested for COVID-19. And I'm like, okay, I'll call them. I call the ER. This lady is like low-key panicking. She asked me the questions like, well, why are you coming in? And I tell her, I'm like, hey, I talked to the nurses. The nurses say, hey, you're experiencing these things. You should go to the ER. Um, and, you know, they told me to call first ahead of time to be proactive, let you guys know I'm coming. And she's like, well, it could be allergies. You could have pneumonia. Like, um, it's really bad allergy season. And she was just like very, she sounded very panicked. And I was like, I look, I'm just doing what they told me to do. They told me to call you ahead of time. I'm trying to get seen so I can get rid of this heaviness in my chest, you know. And she's like, well, we're not testing here. We, we don't have, we don't have the test. I'm like, okay, like, that's fine. Like, okay, if you don't want me to come there, you don't have the test. You don't think I should come there. She's like, you should go to, um, urgent care. She told me to make a doctor's appointment or something like that. It's like, okay. So then I go back to, I call the nurse's hotline. I'm like, Hey, I did what you said. I called the ER. They want no parts of me either. Um, they said they don't have tests there. So they feel like if you guys think I have that, I need to call the CDC. CDC was closed. I called them. Um, I'm like, I just want to get checked. I don't feel like I have that. Like, I'm just sick, you know? And they're like, well, maybe you should make a doctor's appointment. <laughs> I'm like, at that point, I had already canceled my doctor's appointment because they told me not to come in. So I was irritated. So I ended up on Saturday, Derek took me to urgent care. Um, 
And even that whole experience, like I went to urgent care, you have to do the pre-screening and I understand people are trying to be cautious, so that's fine. Um, but you literally have to downplay your symptoms because all the symptoms overlap and I didn't want to get sent to ER. So it was just like, yeah, I have a little cough. Can I see the doctor now? Like, you know, like I didn't want to just get sent away like all over again. So I got seen, um, they did chest x-ray and they, the doctor came back and said I had acute bronchitis. Um, so great. Like got bronchitis, I'll take it. Like I do not want this damn virus. So, okay. I got bronchitis. Sounds good. She prescribed me, um, steroids, an inhaler, z pack and some cough syrup. So after leaving there, I went and picked up my prescriptions. I actually only picked up two. I only got the steroids in the inhaler because I thought, cool. She told me to take the steroids in the inhaler and if those don't work, then take the z pack. And I was hoping like they were gonna work. She knew what she was talking about, that's great. So I didn't even pick up the z pack at first. Um, and yeah, so I've been, I took the steroid for three days with the inhaler um, and it was not working y'all. Like. I still felt the heaviness in my chest and it's like, it's so annoying. You can't sleep. You can't lay down. It's like, I wasn't really coughing up anything. So I was like, crap, am I going to get pneumonia? Like what's going on? Um, so yeah, I was on that for three days on the fourth day. I decided to take the Z pack. So I went into the pharmacy. Well, I didn't go in. I went through the drive through at the pharmacy, you know, social distancing, um, and I picked up that Z pack and it like had worked. Like I felt so much better by the end of the day, even though I did have a doctor's appointment on the following Friday. So, um, I took the Z pack, went to the doctors the following day, let them know, Hey, like I feel a lot better. I started the Z pack, um, and I'm going to take it again today. And the doctor listened to my lungs, said they sound good. Um, and yeah, that I can continue to take the CPAC. So that brings us to present day. I am currently just taking my antibiotics, like taking it one day at a time. I feel so much better. Like all week I've been home um, because CDC says, and my company agrees, like if you're not feeling well, to stay your butt at home. Like don't leave the house, stay away from people, like do what you gotta do your part basically. Um, and so that's what I've been doing. I've been working from home all week. I haven't been really getting dressed. I've been changing out of my PJs, but I haven't been like dressing up. I haven't been doing my makeup. So that's why this morning I wanted to like put on a pretty face and try a little bit. Um, because I haven't really done anything at all. Uh, face body wise while well, I've showered, you know, but like <laughs> I haven't really put in much effort this week. So um, it feels good to kind of get dressed up in like regular clothes and put on some makeup, but oh my God, I'm out of breath. Just like talking so much. Um, but yeah, so I'm feeling like a lot better. Um, I'm still obviously not a hundred percent. I can still kind of hear in my voice. It's a little bit different. Um, so I am just going to continue to take my medicine until Monday and then hopefully Tuesday, I will be 100% and then I can go back to work. Um, so yeah, so that brings us to like present day other than oh, last night I got really sick on this medicine. <laughs> um, but other than that, yeah, that brings us to present day. Um, and I just wanna talk about like everything that's going on. Cause even with that whole doctor's experience and being given the runaround just so I can get seen, I can only imagine what people are going through that have like flu A or B, like, cause those symptoms overlap so much with COVID-19. I'm sure those people are like, will you just give me medicine? Like, will you just see me? Because it's crazy in these streets, guys. Like, I can't believe this is life right now. It's so hard to like, I can't even put it into the world. <laughs> it's so hard to like know that this is our reality. I feel like I watch the news and I'm like, oh, it's over there. Like this is happening in New York. This is happening in, you know, California, all these different places, but it's like, it's here, like it's outside my door. Like it's a little different here in Texas. Like, yes, people are freaking out. Um, and I don't think people should be freaking out, but obviously they should be doing what they need to do to be prepared in case we do have to stay home. But like, just like everywhere else, like the stores early in the morning are getting wiped out. Like, yes, they're restocking. So I don't know why people are like 
going freaking nuts over toilet paper because the stores just have toilet paper the next morning. Like, calm the freak down, people. Um, it's not the end of the world. And if it were the end of the world, you're worried about freaking toilet paper? Seriously? Like, I just don't get the toilet paper craze. Like, if you run out of toilet paper, take a fucking shower. Oops. Take a shower. Like, use a uh, washcloth. Like, I don't understand. I just don't get the toilet paper craze. Like, it is not the end of the world if you run out of toilet paper. But it, stores are restocking. But, yeah, I still haven't been able to get rice. Um, cause every time I go, like I have to work in the morning, so I don't have time to be at the store as soon as they open. I haven't been able to get any rice or pasta, like we're out of noodles, like stuff like that. But I know that eventually I'll be able to get it. So I'm just kind of like playing my days by ear, seeing what time I want to get out of this house. If I get out of this house, cause I really don't want to leave. Um, but yeah, it has been crazy here in Texas. Derek did a little panic shopping. Um, a couple days ago, he came home, guys, with four boxes of cake, like four, four boxes of cake and like three things of frosting. I was like, what the hell? Who going to be baking cakes? He's like, if I have to die, I'm dying happy. He got Capri Suns, uh, juice, like five boxes of oatmeal, like who? Every flavor you could think of, whatever he could find, like oatmeal wise, he bought like, oh, why? Why do we need five boxes of oatmeal packets? Like, I don't even know. I don't know. But you know what? It, it made him feel better. So that's good, I guess. Like, as long as he felt like, okay, cool. If I have to be in this house for a month, like, I can eat cake and oatmeal. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But he sure did bring home just the most random things. And it just made me laugh. But it's crazy because... He's not the only one. Like, people are losing their minds out there. Like, I don't even know what to say. Um, but we, yeah, we've got so we've got food. We are ready to be, like, in this house if we need to. Um, it's just the crazy thing is, like, in Texas, our, I guess the spread isn't as, um, I don't want to say I rapid, I guess, as other states. And so our restrictions are not the same. Um which is crazy because, I mean, Texas is huge and the governor here is not making any decisions for the state as a whole. I mean, the only thing I think he has said is that they're cl that all gyms, restaurants, um, like movie theaters, bars, stuff like that are closed, except for like the restaurants can do takeout. Um, I think that's the only like thing, blanket statement he's made for Texas. But as far as like schools or retail stores or companies, anything like that, that's all up to like the individual um, like mayors in whatever city. So like I know Dallas ISD, Richardson ISD, and I think a couple of others have like closed schools indefinitely. But other places, um, their schools are only closed through spring break, which is pro I think next they extended it one week. So they'll be out next week and then. I mean, if it doesn't get extended again, I guess those kids go back, but then the other kids don't. I don't know. I don't know why everything's being very, very piecemealed here in Texas. It doesn't make sense that some ISDs are going to be out indefinitely and the other ones still haven't caught up to that because they're not going to have some kids work going to school and some kids. And I don't know. We'll see. It is a hot mess here in Texas. Um, so I am curious to see like where you guys are and kind of what's going on there because it's not very, there's not a very cohesive message here in Texas. Like we're just trying to do our part, stay socially distant and quarantine as much as we can, um, which also sucks. Like I've been in this house for about a week now. Um, I've left to go, I've gone to the grocery store twice um, and I've had a doctor's appointment. That's, that's it for me. I have not been leaving this house because I've been sick. Um, and the last thing I need to do is to get the virus while I have bronchitis. So I've been staying home trying to like just work and do nothing, but I'm like, I'm going crazy. Um, but my husband, he actually works every, he works outside of the house every day. So as soon as he comes in, I'm like, wash your hands, take your clothes off. Like, I don't want no parts of that in here. I'm not playing no games at all. I haven't been able to see my grandparents, guys. Oh my gosh, it has been terrible. 
we usually hang out like every weekend. Um, you guys see my dirt cheap hauls. I always go with my grandparents when I go to dirt cheap. Um, but gone are the dirt cheap days, you guys. Like you have to touch everything in there. And I mean, I'm pretty sure they're not open. Um, but yeah, I have not been able to hang out with my grandparents. They are Bubba's 80 and grandma is, I think, I think grandma's 75, 76. I think she's 76. I'm pretty sure she's 76. Um, but like, I can't see them. So we duo on our, um, on our phone. So we video chat. Um, I have dropped things off at her house and told her like spray everything down that I get from the grocery store and I just leave it at her door. Um, but yeah, it's been tough. It's been rough. And this is just the beginning. Like we, we still have a lot more to do guys. Like it, it, we have a lot more to do. So I'm just trying to get used to the fact that this is life. Um, I am going to have to go back to work next week once I start feeling better. Um, which will probably be like Monday or Tuesday, I'll probably go back in, which is a whole other thing. Like, I don't know about you guys, but I am like really, I don't want to say freaked out. I was already kind of like a germaphobe before people would sneeze and I'd be like, what? <laughs> like, you all right? You okay? Like, you need to go home? And now like, it's like to the 10th, 100th level where anybody makes any noise, everyone's like looking around, everyone's like, just uncomfortable no one wants to be at work no one wants to be around each other everyone's watching the news everyone's freaked out and yeah we're not closed so we have to be at work like in our cubbies so i'm not looking forward to that because i i don't want to go in our kitchen like i don't want to touch things i just don't want to just because there's not enough information for me like i want to be able to hang out with my grandparents and the news, like the CDC, no one can tell me like if you do have it, say you're asymptomatic or whatever and you quarantine yourself for two weeks, like does that mean you're good? Like you can you can go, I can go talk to my grandparents or I just don't know if I'm if I get it and I'm asymptomatic, I have to somehow convince someone to give me a test so that I can see if I have it. And then I have to get convince them to give me two more tests because you have to you have to test negative twice before in you know, two days in a row twice negative before they'll consider you like not having it anymore like am i never supposed to hang out with them again like i have no answers guys no answers i'm not reassured at all so i am just in the house hanging out it's gonna be just me and my tv and supernatural for a cool minute because I don't know what's going on and no one else does either so we're all just at the mercy of just like watching the news daily and praying. That's all we can do is pray for everybody that has it. Um, make sure everyone's getting better. Pray for the doctors and nurses that are working around it. And, you know, just God, be, just be thankful for all the people that are working. Like here I am not wanting to go to work. And technically I worked from home for a week. I can totally stay home, but whatever. Um, but people at grocery stores that just like, I'm sure they don't want to be there either, but you know, we still need things and it's nice to know that I could if I wanted to get up and go get honey because I'm out of honey. I can go do that because, you know, the grocery stores are open. So you just have to be at this point, like right now, literally grateful, thankful for absolutely everything. Um, and just just pray for everybody, guys, because it is wild. It is so freaking wild. Um what else do I want to talk to you guys about? Because I don't know. I don't think I'm doing like literally anything else. I, I mean, I have no plans, right? It's like, it's so crazy, guys. Like, I'm just thinking about different things I needed to do this year. And like, literally everything has changed. Like, I don't see how my mindset is going to change after this. Like, when we flatten this curve, as they say, and it's not spreading rampant. Like, I still am not going to run in to get on no plane, go on no cruise. Like, I'm good. Like, I don't know that I want to go to a movie theater for a cool minute. Like, they're, I'm, they're not getting my money anytime soon. That's all I can say. So, I don't know. I don't know. You guys, just let me know how you're coping because I, 
I feel like the struggle about to be real because I'm not I'm not leaving this house <laughs> except for to go to work only because I have to. And if I can convince them to let me stay home, better believe I'm going to stay home. So we'll see. Um, but yeah, that's it for my update. That's what's going on in this house. Uh, yeah, please leave comments. I'm really curious as to what's going on in your city and your state. Um, do you agree with it? Do you not agree with it? Like, are you guys practicing social distancing as you should? Um, but yeah, it was nice catching up with you guys. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.